O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, o Lord make, make haste, haste to help us. us. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According, according to your judgment, your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. In the darkness of our sin, you have shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Open our eyes to acknowledge your presence, that freed from the misery of sin and shame, we may grow into your likeness from glory to glory. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and one mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Amen. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. One day tells its tale to another, and one night imparts knowledge to another. Although they have no words or language, and their voices are not heard, their sound has gone out into all lands, and their message to the ends of the world. In the deep he has set a pavilion for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom out of his chamber. It rejoices like a champion to run its course. It goes forth from the uttermost edge of the heavens and runs about to the end of it again. Nothing is hidden from its burning heat. The law of the Lord is perfect and revives the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure and gives wisdom to the innocent. The statutes of the Lord are just and rejoice the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear and gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean and endures forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteousness altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, more than much fine gold, sweeter far than honey, than honey in the comb. By them also is your servant 
that light them, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can tell how often he offends, cleanse me from my secret faults? Above all, keep your servant from presumptuous sins, let them not get dominion over me. Then shall be I be whole and sound, and innocent of a great offense. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth be moved, and though the mountains be toppled into the depths of the sea. Though its waters rage and foam, and though the mountains tremble at its tumult. The Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our stronghold. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, she shall not be overthrown. God shall help her at the break of day. The nations make much ado, and the kingdoms are shaken. God has spoken, and the earth shall melt away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come now and look upon the works of the Lord. What awesome things he has done on earth. It is he who makes war to cease in all the world. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear and burns the shields with fire. Be still then and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. The first lesson is taken from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah concerning the drought. Judah mourns and her gates languish. They lie in gloom on the ground and the cry of Jerusalem goes up. Her nobles send their servants for water. They come to the cisterns, they find no water. They return with their vessels empty. They are ashamed and dismayed and cover their heads because the ground is cracked. Because there has been no rain on the land, the farmers are dismayed. They cover their heads. Even the doe in the field forsakes her newborn fawn because there is no grass. The wild asses stand on the bare heights. They pant for air like jackals. Their eyes fail because there is no herbage. Although our iniquities testify against us, act, O Lord, for your name's sake. Our apostasies indeed are many. We have sinned against you, O hope of Israel, its Savior in time of trouble. Why should you, you be like a stranger in the land, like a traveler turning aside for the night? Why should you be like someone confused, like a mighty warrior who cannot give help? Yet you, O Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us. We shall say to them this word. Let my eyes run down with tears night and day, and let them not cease, for the virgin daughter, my people, is struck down with a crushing blow, with a very grievous wound. If I go out into the field, look, those killed by the sword, and if I enter the city, look, those sick with famine. 
for both prophet and priest ply their trade throughout the land and have no knowledge. Have you completely rejected Judah? Does your heart loathe Zion? Why have you struck us down so that there is no healing for us? We look for peace, but find no good. For a time of healing, but there is terror instead. We acknowledge our wickedness, O Lord, the iniquity of our ancestors. For we have sinned against you. Do not spurn us for your name's sake. Do not dishonor your glorious th throne. Remember and do not break your covenant with us. Can any idols of the nations bring rain? Or can the heavens give showers? Is it not you, O Lord our God? We set our hope on you, for it is you who do all this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Christ committed no sin, no guile was found on his lips. Christ suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin, no guile was found on his lips. When he was reviled, he did not revile in turn. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but he trusted himself to God who judges justly. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you were straying like sheep, but have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Christ committed no sin, no guile was found on his lips. The second lesson is taken from the Gospel of Mark. The Pharisees came and began to argue with him, asking him for a sign from heaven to test him. And he sighed deeply in his spirit and said, Why does this generation ask for a sign? Truly, I tell you, no sign will be given to this generation. And he left them, and getting into the boat again, he went across to the other side. Now the disciples had forgotten to bring any bread, and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. And he cautioned them, saying, Watch out, beware of the yeast of the Pharisees and the yeast of Herod. They said to one another, It is because we have no bread. And becoming aware of it, Jesus said to them, Why are you talking about having no bread? Do you still not perceive or understand? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes and fail to see? Do you have ears and fail to hear? And do you not remember when I broke the five loaves for the 5,000? How many baskets full of broken pieces did you collect? They said to him, 12. And the seven for the 4,000, how many baskets full of broken pieces did you collect? And they said to him, seven. Then he said to them, do you not yet understand the word of the Lord? Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. Forsake, Forsake me not, O Lord. Lord. Be, be not far, far from me, me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Be, be not, not far, far from me, me O my, my God. God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Forsake me not, O Lord. Be not, Be not far, far from, from me, me, O my God. Come, let us return to the Lord, for our God will richly pardon. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. You created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. 
and yours by right, O lamb that was slain. For with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Gracious Father, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, came down from heaven to be the true bread that gives life to the world, evermore give us this bread, that he may live in us and we in him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Eternal God, in whose perfect kingdom no sword is drawn but the sword of righteousness, no strength known but the strength of love, so mightily spread abroad your spirit that all peoples may be gathered under the banner of the Prince of Peace as children of one Father, to whom be dominion and glory now and forever. Amen. Amen. O God, the Creator and Preserver of all mankind, we humbly pray to you for all sorts and conditions of people, that you would be pleased to make your ways known to them, your saving health to all nations. More especially, we pray for your Holy Church Universal, that it may be so guided and governed by your good spirit that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith in unity of spirit, in the bond of peace, and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to your fatherly goodness all those who are in any way afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or spirit, that it may please you to comfort and relieve them according to their needs giving them patience in their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you the God of all mercy perfect remission and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, let us pray with confidence as our Savior has taught us.
May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.